into the tank is a better design of a party staple. What's up, Sharks? I'm Tim Laux. I'm here today seeking $300,000 in exchange for 10% equity in my company. So drinks on tap are becoming more popular now than they've ever been before. People are absolutely loving the at-home draft experience. But the problem is most kegs and draft systems are big, expensive, and not portable. There's no way I'm gonna take this thing on a boat, on a golf cart. Heck, you probably can't even fit it in the fridge. <laughs> There's no way that's happening. Kegs had problems until now. Meet Square One, the world's most efficient mini keg ever. Square One has the ultimate cool factor by providing more volume in less space, lets you bring not just beer, but your favorite drink on tap just about anywhere. Shark sitting in front of you is your very own Square One. I filled it with a tasty wow. beverage. Pour yourself a glass and let's get down to business. Wow. Right. I like you and I don't even know you. <laughs> So Peter, Mark, and Damon, you guys have beer. Mr. Wonderful, you have a vodka nitro espresso martini. Oh, damn. And Lori, yours is a John Daly. So it's the alcoholic vodka version of an Arnold Palmer. Wait, we need to do a toast. To the Chevrolet Test of Hey! What do you think of that one, Mr. Wonderful? Pretty good, actually. This is really good. So this is CO2 in this cartridge? So yours is the only one that's actually running on nitrogen. So that's a new product release. I always thought that draft beer, there, there was something fresher about that. Sure. But if you're putting mixed drinks in there, what's the value in that? Sure. So the value, like in the home space, is for instance, like when we go out on the boat or we're doing things outdoors, we can batch a whole gallon of cocktails that we're going to take with us, like margaritas. Super simple to bring with us. Then anybody can serve themselves. Yeah. You make this like a little draft pourer of any kind of drink. But wine, yeah. you don't do wine yeah. in this. You can right. do wine in this, right? So we actually have a wine product in the hopper that'll run on Argon with a different wine spout. We're not quite there yet, but Got that's it. kind of our third product. Tell us how the whole, yeah. all the pieces fit together. So basically square one, it's 128 ounces. So it holds either two growlers worth of beer, eight pints, 28 so ounces. that's a 12 pack almost. Yep, just about a 12 pack. Basically, you would fill it with your beverage of choice, whether it's a cocktail or beer, and then assemble the tap, and then you pressurize it so it runs on and CO2 or nitrogen. And then it's good until it's finished. Wait, 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 tell me how to disassemble it so I can sure. go put in another drink. Sure, so basically everything's threaded. It's got a pressure release valve on this side. So before you do any disassembly, you would pull the pressure. So right here? Yep, but you want to turn the valve off to the left. Right. You sure you want to be doing that? Dude, <laughs> David, where are you going? <laughs> I'm not, either my hands are still waiting. Blow your head off. Turn this thing. Pull this out. Pressurized thing Let's on there. This. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I was I was trying to help you. I knew that was gonna happen. <laughs> you know, you said it was safe. Oh, wow. <laughs> Meanwhile, while he's blowing himself up, Tim. <laughs> Tim, you must have. Uh, we're gonna get it because obviously, three million is quite a big valuation. You must have good sales so far. So we've sold over four thousand units. Uh, right now, lifetime sales are over 1.4 million. Wow. Okay. But have, over what Last period of time? Months? Over a year. Yeah. Wow. And what have you made out of wow. that, Tim? So we lost about a quarter million last year. Oh, um, yeah. This That's year, okay. we're on track to make a 15% net. Okay. This is going to be our first profitable in the month, and we're on track to do over 200 grand this month in sales. Damn, nice. And how much are they? Uh, so that one right there in front of you retails for 259. That's not and bad. What, do you, what does it cost? Uh, it costs us 130. We make them in Washington State. Uh, last May, we set up our own manufacturing facility where we started adding and refining our processes so we can get the cost down to where we can be profitable. So I'm buying these things as a consumer for my home. Correct. This is not for a business. But it could be, right? But yes. So we focused 100% direct consumer on this. Really, the vision was in the commercial market. When COVID hit, we're like, okay, we're spending a lot of money developing and creating these products but we got to start bringing some money back through the door. And Tim, how did you come up with this then? What made you think of this? Sure. Uh, so I, I've always been an idea guy, never really took action on any, okay. but uh, it was November 2017. I woke up in the middle of the night, like, and for some crazy reason, I was thinking about the inefficiencies of round kegs. <laughs> I'm like, everywhere they're stored, everywhere they're transported, everywhere they're refrigerated are square rectangular spaces. 
I just thought it would be a huge value. Okay. But Tim, as, yeah, yeah. as, us, as all of us being potential partners, how often do you wake up at 2.30 in the morning about thinking about a more efficient way to get hammered? <laughs> <laughs> Never, but I guess I was lucky. Yeah, right? Tim, so it is very, very cool, but I don't really comprehend the value of it because I'm just, I'm not a tap drinker, so I'm a little stuck there. I just, I don't think I, I get it as much, uh, sure. so I'm out. Thank you. So Tim, I have an important question because I'm in the wine industry. You know, there's a lot of delivery systems for that actually try and keep wine from spoiling after you've had a little bit of a bottle, you put argon or nitrogen gas in it. Is the one you're making for wine, could I put three bottles of Chardonnay in here and then would the system, I'm asking if this yep. is the plan, you're gonna use argon gas to seal that surface from any oxygen hitting it. Correct. So for the next two weeks, I could be pulling out a glass yes. of Chardonnay. 100%. Well, that is a cool idea. <laughs> <laughs> Tim, it's cool. Listen, it did pique my interest. Now, if I'm a wine drinker, right? What would be really cool is, is if you get that one figured out, I hope you'll come back in the tank with that. Sure. Uh, you don't have it right now, so I think you're onto something. I wish you good luck, but I'm not. Thanks, Lori. Tim, I, I can't see how I could help you turn this into a great business. I think it's a really neat invention, but I just can't, I can't scale this with you. So for that reason, I'm out. Thank you, yeah, Peter. Tim, I love the product. I really, really do. Obviously, I'm clumsy with it. I'm not good with mechanics at all. I, I see the value for it. I'll definitely try to buy some because I think, I think you have a hit. I just don't know where I would fit with it. So for those reasons, I'm out. Thanks, Mark. You're welcome. Uh, Is everybody out? Yep. Yes. OK, so I'm intrigued, OK? When is the wine product coming? In less than three months. Why didn't you say that to me? <laughs> I, I guess I just didn't say it. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I'm really intrigued with the white wine in the fridge and the red wine sitting out on the bar with the argon or nitrogen gas. That's a very cool idea. The industry's been trying to solve for that for 20 years. Absolutely. All right, I'll give you the 300K, I want 20%. I'll tell you why. I mean, you need someone like me to help you blow this up online because really you want to sell it direct to consumers. So what do you, what do you think, do? Tim? No, I think it's great. I, I honestly, I know Mr. Wonderful has great senses in this space when it comes to beverage. Would you consider doing the 300 for 15% and meet me in the middle? No. It, it's a simple product. I like what you've done. I mean, other than Mark blowing himself up. <laughs> but um, it's going to be work for me. I get behind this. We'll make a lot of money together. It, it, it looks beautiful, it fits in the fridge, and I, I'm gonna take a flyer on it. I want 20%. Let's do it. <laughs> yeah! yeah. Hey. Smart yeah. Well done. Yeah. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Congrats, beautiful. Thank you. Did a great Congrats, job. Tim. Congrats. Thank Congrats, you, guys. Tim. Appreciate it. Well you. done, Tim. Fantastic. Thanks, man. Good Thanks, Kevin. I like that deal. Kevin, I like that yeah, deal, Kevin. I like that deal, Kevin. it's a great deal. Square Keg's been my life on the side from my day job for five years. It's been a complete grind, but it's enabled me to leave the corporate handcuffs behind once and for all. And now that I'm working with Mr. Wonderful, I'm super confident we're gonna take this thing to the moon. Before you go, don't forget to subscribe to the Shark Tank YouTube channel and ring the notification bell to keep up with everything that's bubbling in the tank.